So right now, Crossover, the amazing software that allows Windows games to run on a Mac is now on a massive Cyber Monday sale at 75% off, the cheapest that will be throughout the entire year. And before we get into details, if you want to take advantage of the deal, just make sure to click on the link at the top of the video description. This will take you straight to the Crossover purchase page with the 75% off coupon already applied. Any purchases made after clicking the link help to support Code Weavers, the developers of Crossover, and I also receive a small commission, which helps keep me making making Mac gaming videos and testing new titles for you. And if you don't know why Crossover matters, I'm going to explain it all to you now. Crossover is the most important piece of software for Mac gaming. It lets you run thousands of Windows games on Apple Silicon, even on the base M5 Mac. And it's not just for small indie titles, it's huge stuff like Where Winds Meet, GTA 5, Red Dead Redemption 2, Black Myth Wukong, Spider-Man Remastered and God of War. Games that absolutely should not be running on a Mac, yet somehow they do. You can download Crossover and try it out yourself with the free trial. But if you want to get the best possible performance and compatibility, you'll want the Crossover Plus license, which unlocks the preview builds. These contain all of the newest fixes and improvements, and they're what I use for my testing. And what makes Crossover so wild is that Apple's ecosystem is extremely closed off. There's no boot camp for Apple Silicon M series Macs, there's no native Windows x86 compatibility, and there's no kernel level access for anti-cheat. And it has a graphics stack that Windows games were never designed to run on. Mac gaming should realistically be impossible. But because of the decades of work from Codeweavers, the team behind Wine, we're in this strange but amazing timeline where Windows games actually run sometimes shockingly well on a Mac. They've effectively built a compatibility layer that translates Windows APIs into macOS APIs in real time, and it's genuinely incredible. But crossover isn't perfect. Some games just won't work, especially those with invasive kernel level anti-cheat, which many games will not allow to run on macOS. A good example of this is Battlefield 6. Multiplayer is impossible, but here's where it gets interesting. Using the crossover preview build and a DRM-free version of the game, you can actually run parts of the Battlefield 6 single-player campaign. It's unstable and it crashes a lot, but it proves that these games could actually run on Apple Silicon, and maybe, just maybe, with a little bit more funding and a few more developer hours, even more Windows games like this could be playable on the Mac. And because of the Mac's limited native library, Codeweavers are basically carrying the entire Mac gaming scene on their own backs. And they absolutely deserve our support. And yes, supporting them directly also supports Linux gaming too, especially if you use a Steam Deck and take advantage of Proton. So anyway, make sure to try out the free trial and check whether it's possible to renew your license with a discount code too. And in previous years, the discount codes have applied to renewals too. Just make sure to check under your account under the support licenses and see if you can apply that discount too. So anyway, if you're gonna buy Crossover, make sure to click at the link at the top of the video description. And if you wanna see what Crossover is capable of, I've got tons of videos about this. I just released a video about 20 new Windows games running on Crossover Preview on the base M5 chip MacBook Pro with only 16 gigabytes of RAM. And it actually runs surprisingly well, so make sure to click on that too. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.